I am Barbara Corneo. I am the director of the Stem Cell Core facility. We are part of the Columbia Stem Cell Initiative, uh, which is part of the um, Columbia Irving Medical Center. We are divided in um, two parts. A big part is the cell production group. Uh, we derive IPS from blood samples or fibroblasts. And uh, also we differentiate this IPS into different progenies, including neural, um, and cardiomyocytes. Uh, and the other part of the core facility instead is involving gene editing uh, using CRISPR-Cas9. One of the issues that we had uh, a few years ago when we, we decided to purchase a cell sorter uh, was that we wanted to have access to a, a easy to use, uh, very user-friendly machine. So we decided to look for a cell sorter that could help us, something that could be efficient, that could be fast and can be used by someone that is not necessarily experienced in the field. We acquired the, the instrument a few years ago and then just very recently we moved uh, uh, close, uh, physically closer uh, to the flow core directed by Mike Kisner. And so we decided that it was a good idea to move the instrument in his uh, flow core uh, because uh, Mike is uh, a very experienced uh, flow cytometrist and so we thought uh, we can take advantage of his expertise but also uh, now the machine is available to a bigger audience. My name is Michael Kissner. I'm the Director of Operations of the Columbia Stem Cell Initiative Flow Cytometry Core Facility. We operate our core facility a little bit differently than others where primarily our users are um, independent users, so they run the machines themselves and we provide extensive training and support for them. One of the things I love about the S3E is how easy it is to use. For somebody that has some flow cytometry experience, for example, as run an analyzer, it can take us no more than 15 minutes to show someone how to use the instrument. The software is a very strong point um, of the instrument. It's incredibly easy to use. Um, it, if I wanted to set up a GFP sort to make the protocol, it takes, I would say, 10 seconds to set up, maybe, maybe 20 seconds. It's very, very simple. The field has been changing a lot since uh, the beginning when I started reading the first paper on stem cells. At that time, it was mouse embryonic stem cells, for example. In the, so immediately after, people start working on human embryonic stem cells. And then just a few years ago, we had this big boom of uh, IPS so that before didn't exist. Nobody even knew that it was possible to take a tissue, a somatic tissue, and uh, then revert this tissue to get stem cells. So I'm very, very, still very, very excited about the potential of these cells for uh, therapeutics, for regenerative medicine, but also for drug screening and for disease modeling. I really think that uh, they have a great potential that, and they can really help uh, um, people.